guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Easy Pictures to Draw. Today we're gonna go over how to draw piranha, a cartoon piranha. I'm gonna be using this marker right here. This marker is a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen. This is the same thing as a Sharpie, uh, except it doesn't smell, it doesn't have that toxic, nasty smell. It's a little bit more expensive. It does last longer than a Sharpie. A Sharpie, uh, or even something like this, this is pr basically the exact same thing as a Sharpie. It lasts maybe, I would say, a third of the amount of time that this thing does. This thing's about $6 on Amazon. Sharpie's, like, that's that's the only negative, right? It's $6. Uh, and the Sharpie's probably like a dollar, right? For like three, like a three set or something. But yeah, so we're gonna go through this thing step by step. Uh, so, but oh, before we do, please, uh, if you guys like drawing anything cute related, any cute characters, or if you like drawing um, caricatures, uh, those two things are the things I specialize in. I specialize in those two exactly. More so cute characters because they're, you know, kind of quicker and funner to draw sometimes. Um, but they are related. So if you like any of that stuff, please do me a huge favor and please click the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon. The bell icon is going to give you notifications for when I actually shoot some videos out. Anyways, let's go. We're going to draw this piranha here. So think of the swoop of the back. I'm gonna start with one swoop, almost like a little hill, like a dirt hill. Right, think of that swoop. Now he's gonna have an underbite. So I'm gonna draw that line across and it's gonna go forward across the, the, the front. And uh, I want that underbite, meaning the lower jaw sticks out a little bit more than the upper jaw. And I am going to pull back in this very similar swoop, but up opposite. Very similar swoop. Then the tail at the end is going to tie together. And I'm going to draw this little kind of a knotted line here, this little zigzag. And the zigzag is going to uh, kind of connect into the fin, the back, the tail fin. Pull upward again into that little, uh, it's almost like a half hill. Same over here. And the reason I threw this in there is I want it to look like it's a little bit damaged. You know, it's a little bit, uh, it's been out there in the, you know, wherever they are, the Amazon or something. But it's gonna pull, but but the overall structure shape is that swoop on this side. It's a little, just a, made of a bunch of swoops. I throw the upper top, the top fin here. It's essentially gonna be solid. And I might throw in a little, like I said, cracks in there as well. Also, there's one on the bottom here, almost the exact same right there. It's almost like uh, like a like a block square sticking out of it. I'm gonna throw the side fin here. Angry face. I'm gonna have angry eyes because this fish does have a reputation for being, uh, you know. Uh, very mean. Eye, eye there. And one of the most important parts would be the teeth. The teeth is kind of what the piranha is known for. So the teeth are sticking up from that overbite. And then kind uh, of nasal cavity. So the next thing you wanna do is I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna color it with very simple uh, uh, colored pencils. The colored pencils are, let me look. Oh, actually one thing before I do that. Um, I'm gonna throw ah, some little bit of rivet lines, some little lines here on the side fin. And I wanna go lighter on the marker when I do that. I wanna, uh, I don't wanna go as deep. I don't wanna push down as hard because I want it to have uh, kind of a better look to it. Uh, so I have this gray and I have this orange. You can do gray orange, you can do gray red, but generally the top has a gray and the bottom has like an orange uh, look to it. At least I've seen most designs. It's up to you. You can pick whatever you like. And you can, uh, I'm just gonna do a flat right here for demo's sake. The side fin here even is going to be orange. 
It's, I picked a very light orange as well. Hopefully it'll show up on camera. Like it'll show up on camera okay. And I'm gonna just do this flat along the bottom. I'm gonna color this fin orange. Then I'm gonna take the gray. See, that was it, right? Uh, then I take the gray and I'm gonna color the rest of this. here just kind of again doing this kind of flat mostly holding my pencil on its, on its side because I want to get a larger uh, kind of a larger cover a larger surface and a large uh, faster amount of time this one's really vague this one might not even show up on camera as well anywhere near as well as the other one so Kind of pushing in here with the side of the pencil, and I even want to throw in little blotches just for kind of design sake. With the exact same colored pencil here. I'm trying to smooth it out. Maybe throw a little bit of more shadow here around the eye. Put more focal point on the eye. Hopefully the camera's not moving. Sorry about that, guys. And I think that's about it, honestly. Uh, I wanted to make this as simple as I could. Hopefully I did. Hopefully you're able to follow along very easily. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you need to rewatch the video, rewatch it. Uh, you know, pause it. Use that pause button. That pause button is your friend. Uh, thank you so much guys. I appreciate it. Uh, one thing, uh, this is the very end of the video by the way. So uh, one thing is I do have a cute uh, ebook. There's an ebook I have and it's all about like starting your way into drawing cute characters or if you have a drawing uh, of something, it'll tell you kind of how to make it cutified. You know, how do you cutify that character? What What is it that makes something look cute. It's a totally free ebook. Uh, I'm going to put it for download and uh, let me see. I'm going to put in the link below in the description. Check that link out and hit that, hit that, um, you know, all you got to do is check it out. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a short, uh, it's a short ebook. That's why I made it totally free. So uh, if you did want to draw anything uh, cute-esque, you know, and you kind of want it on hand, you know, it's like a little book you can just print out, uh, then, you know, that's it. So check that out, guys, in the link below, and I will talk to you next time. See you later.